What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about Crimson Days, the next live event to Destiny and Eververse. The feature of the game which is dragging it down, a feature most content creators are scared to talk about in a bad way as they don't want to lose face with Bungie by telling it how it is. Luckily for you guys you have me, someone who cares not what Bungie think of me and I will tell it straight how it is. Now Crimson Days has been confirmed to be coming. This was done by Cosmo over on Reddit, the Destiny 2 community manager. He does go on to say that it won't be the same as last time, but this could mean anything. It could mean we will get 2 engrams per week instead of 1. It could mean we will get 2 new PvP modes instead of 1 which is normally Crimson Doubles. It could mean that Eververse Crimson Engrams will be available at a reduced price while the Crimson Days events last. It could mean one of a million things, we just don't know. But what we do know is the current state of the game. A game which is supposedly a looter shooter but at the moment it's a looter bankruptor. Eververse single handedly has pulled hundreds of thousands of people off the game. Not because of her presence and what she offers, microtransaction systems in looter shooters ain't anything new or normally game ruining. It's the way her implementation into the game deals with what she offers and the system behind it. Some of the best loot in the game and some of the most exclusive loot in the game come from Bright Engrams. Ones which you can either collect XP for, which isn't a quick process, or spend money on. Either way, once obtained, the loot they offer comes at random, so there's no guarantee you'll get anything you want or need. But hey, this is how microtransactions work in most games. Or is it? To be honest, I don't remember playing any game which offers a system as such. Not like this one. Eververse and what she offers in my opinion has been put in place and optimised to be the true endgame grind this game offers. This takes focus from Bungie off features like strikes, raids, public events and lost sectors and more. All which to be honest for me are completely pointless to run nowadays. There is literally no reason to do any of them. The only point for me to play the game is now is to grind XP for Bright Engrams. It's as simple as that. Eververse no doubt in my mind was the primary focus when this game was being made. It's the primary focus when DLCs and events come out. This is how Bungie sees it. They want you to spend your money on these bright engrams. They want you to gamble away your savings. They don't care if you waste your money on dog shit loot. That's why Eververse is here. If they gave a shit Eververse would be removed and all loot she offers relocated into other loot pools the game has. The loot Eververse beholds could make great reason to farm other things this game offers. Primarily strikes, raids, lost sectors and so on. Remember when Bungie said lost sectors are like mini raid activities? What an absolute joke. Absolutely nothing behind that statement at all besides another point in trying to make us part of our money to buy the game. To be honest though, she wouldn't even have to be removed. Just relocate her gear to other places also, making them available for your different aspects of the game while keeping them in place within Bright Engrams if people do want to spend their money on them and save themselves a grind but at least put us in a position of being able to pick between grind or buy. At the moment it's just buy 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 money 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 in Bungie's eyes in my opinion. And this leads me to the point of the video, Crimson Days is expected around Valentine's Day, the next live event for Destiny 2. Many many people believe it's going to be the same old cash grab attempt by Bungie. They tease us with this pretty loot, hype us up, make us believe we can obtain it all and when the event eventually comes, we realise we're going to only earn one engram per week and out of this engram we're expected to earn about 50 new items which come with a live event. It's just never going to happen. And to be honest we've started to see it, we've seen the leaks of the loot, we've seen teasers but people it don't seem to be working anymore, people have wised up. People have took a stance and Bungie are fully aware of this. They indeed know that Destiny 1 currently gets more views across Twitch than Destiny 2. They see people like me bitching, they see people on Twitter morning, they see people on Reddit, the Bungie forums and their Facebook page raging about the game and how it's 10% of what we thought it would be prior to release. Now this is more than just Eververse, but Eververse is a nail in the coffin for many. If and when Eververse does get fixed, there will always be something else people find to mourn about. I honestly think this is the type of game Destiny has become. Many many people see it as a platform to laugh at, which is truly sad. If it stays this way, in a few years Destiny 2 will be nothing but a meme. Now to me, in my opinion, Bungie have one last chance to save and recover what's left of the game. And that chance comes in my opinion with the next DLC or event. If major changes are not met, the game will be dead. I mean like I've always seen Destiny's dead comments on my videos. This is just a norm. 
but at the moment I'm about to start pinning these comments because it's becoming a reality. Bungie although have said on multiple occasions that big changes are coming. We need info on these changes and we need factual proven dates that these changes will happen. We don't want old usual, oh well, vault space is being extended, strikes are receiving exclusive loot and lost sectors now give you planetary gear. But it's all coming soon. That to me is not acceptable. Soon to Bungie could mean 2019. We want dates. That's what we want. How long have we been waiting for private matches? A feature what was already in the first game. They said early 2018. So let's expect them to actually deliver on that. Destiny 2 in my opinion as a whole at the moment is about 1 25th of what it should be. Let's hope details within the next Bungie weekly update discuss major changes and these major changes fix core issues to the game. Let's also hope they announce Crimson Days is not underlined by Eververse and the loot available from Crimson Days is scattered across the board, available for your multiple loot pools. If that ain't the case, at least make and confirm that these Crimson Engrams are easily obtained. Maybe add them to the loot pool of the raid, add them to the loot pool of PvP, strikes, whatever. Don't bring it a system like we got with the Dawning where we can earn two per week or whatever it was. Because there's no way we can obtain the loot these engrams offer via two engrams per week. It's just impossible. Stop thinking with your pockets and think with your brain. Your game's dying a slow and sad death. It needs quick resuscitation. And it's this which is worrying me at the moment. But more bad added before any good, I don't think will work. But hey people, this is just my opinion. Let me know what you think down below within that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by people, if you enjoyed the video leaving a like, it really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss one of the many videos I upload on a weekly basis, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I upload a video. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.